Well, I'm your great guru, Lindsay, and this is my job to teach you about wine. Today, I'll be your guide. I'm Lindsay, so just follow me. Join me, Lindsay, here in the Expo Tour for the ultimate beer crawl right now. Yes, it's me, Lindsay, and today we're in front of the Brazil Pavilion. Hi, this is Lindsay reporting from the Expo World Observatory. Now, what is most remarkable about the grand structure that makes up the Chinese Pavilion is the way in which it's been put together. With China being such a vast country, of course, the most cost-efficient and convenient way to get around is, of course, by train. Can you believe this little guy costs 12,000 euros? But he's worth every penny, particularly if they teach them how to clean the house one day. In fact, I think I'll get one then. This is my kind of technology. It is said to be one of the fastest solar-powered cars in the world. My producer said that, that I look like I'm going for a shower, but never mind. We're going to go into the kitchen now, and we're going to discover how the art of Turkish cooking is done. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's hot in here. It's very hot. How can you work in these conditions? Is there a technique to this? Can I have a go? OK. Right, so I'm going to have a go here. It's so hot. Is that it? Too thick for slices. Okay, okay. Oh, you've got to get more of a surface area. Oh, so you use the okay. spoon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's quite good fun, isn't it? Although the technology didn't originate here, it really shows us how this technology is very important and being employed across the country and also now internationally. I know you spent some time studying and working in Germany. Would you say this has really brought you an international perspective on your business? To get to the update knowledge, you have to go where uh, the trend will be. Looking at the kitchen, it's quite amazing to see all the wood prepared still and the bedroom, just this plank of wood. Well, what would you say the government is doing in order to help these residents settle into their new life? We have some genuine contestants from China Talents right here tonight. Indeed. Hello, everyone. Xin Yan Kuai Le, Gong Shi and welcome to Funniest Home Videos. Good to see you again. You are watching our end of season special edition of City Beats. Okay, my third and final mission today is Mr. Sweden. Woo! Are you there? Okay, see ya. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Nepal, not just renowned for its beautiful architecture and landscape, it's also renowned for its beautiful women. This is actually a traditional sari, it's their traditional dress. It's so floaty and beautiful, the material is gorgeous. is building. Can you feel it? Who are you supporting tonight? Who will be the Grand Cup final winner? So is this the finished article here? Yes. Ah, no, no. finished one. He said this is the basket oh. for you. The diver use it for collect the barrel. <laughs> so that's how they would go down and collect them. Put all the pearls in the basket. Brilliant. This is like charades. Unlike the movies where you see people popping open the, the cork and it's spraying everywhere, that is not the way to do it. You're supposed to actually hold the bottle and the cork at the same time, turn the bottle, not the cork, turn it slightly until you just feel the pressure and hold it on there so you don't actually waste any wine. Now we get to the best bit. I love my job. This is vodka tasting. It's amazing because the smell it's quite overwhelming before you even drink it. You can really smell the hops on this. It makes you want to taste it, so cheers. Black currant, a little bit of spiciness in there as well, a little bit of white pepper, and that is really sort of the whole characteristic of Palm and Air. Oh, fantastic. How's yours, cameraman? Oh, oh dear. When you think of Japanese food, what do you think of? I think of sashimi, sushi, teriyaki. But today, we're going to introduce you to something just a little bit different. Kashaiki Miori. There's tons of these gloves outside. So what does it mean? Well, they're not for sale, that's for sure. In fact, they've actually been donated by Swedish people individually as if to give a metaphorical greeting or saying goodbye to all the visitors that are coming to visit them here. So that's what we're going to say today. Goodbye. 